All right, so take two of um, equality versus freedom, equality of outcome versus equality of opportunity. I had to run back in the house. My, um, my phone did blow up. No, it, uh, it overheated, so I put it in the fridge for a little bit. Now you can really see how puffed up my lips are. I may have, may have an allergy on, on something. Could be watermelon. Um, so let me recap what I just talked about earlier. Milton Friedman, he said, people who, who value equality over freedom will get neither of either. People who value freedom over equality will get um, an, a great amount of both. So I made the delineation between equality of opportunity versus equality of outcome. Equality of outcome is feeling entitled, feeling like you're entitled to something. Equality of opportunity is feeling like you're deserving of something. Seeking deservedness and worthiness rather than feeling than deserving or, or seeking being entitled. And what does, that, what does feeling entitled look like in your personal relationships and business? So in personal, you feel entitled um, whether or not you acquire a result, whether or not or you, you acquire the skills, whether or not you work for something, you want the result of it. Whether or not you, this is somebody who goes into a job and wants $20 an hour for no reason other than they, they feel they're entitled to that amount of money. As opposed to the person who feels deserving, who says, okay, let me, let me start off at the lowest level, let me work my way to the top, and the, the production that I do with the company, with the business, with the opportunity, the production that I do, I want fairness, I want equality of opportunity so that when I do create the results in the company, when I do help the company create results and uh, create production and um, do certain things that at a higher and higher level, I get higher and higher pay. I deserve the pay that I, because of my results, rather than feeling entitled and just going in and saying, I deserve $20 an hour just because I feel I deserve it. That's feeling entitled. Um, entitledness in relationships versus deservedness in relationships. Entitledness in relationship is um, saying that I'm your boyfriend, or I'm your girlfriend, I'm your spouse, I'm your wife, I'm your husband. Therefore, you must give me love. You must do, you must do things for me whether or not I deserve it. And you must ongoingly do it forever and ever and ever. Feeling deservedness in relationships is the opposite. It says that no matter, or I'm going to deserve the love, I'm going to deserve the respect, I'm going to deserve the, the admiration and appreciation by um, demonstrating that I love you and doing acts and doing deeds and doing behaviors that demonstrates I love you, that demonstrates that I deserve your respect and adoration and admiration and appreciation and, and honor and doing those things because I merit the existence. Uh, meriting the existence of a relationship rather than feeling entitled and being enslaved to a relationship is the difference. What does it look like in, uh, in our business? So feeling entitled in our business is saying, I have a business, I have a product, I have a service, therefore you should buy it because it's a good product. You should buy it because it's a good service. That's feeling entitled. Feeling deserved, uh, feeling deserving of um, deservedness uh, equality of opportunity is saying that, okay, I'm going to find out what you want and I'm going to see if it's a good fit for you. And then if it's, if I think it's a good fit for you, I'm going to say, you know, you want to check, you might want to check this out. This sounds like something you might be interested in. Let me know if you're interested in it. If not, no big deal. This might be a service that you might, you might be interested in because of what you told me about yourself and your, your challenges. This might help you. Let me, um, let me show you what it is and tell me what you think, whether or not you, you, you get it or not, no big deal. And then it's, it's the notion of appreciating your market, your marketplace and saying, this market has a need, this market will benefit from my product, my service, my opportunity, and, um, and then marketing it to them. There goes my light. All right, so the last thing is, um, that's it. So my call to action, for you today is endeavor to be deserving rather than feeling entitled. Endeavor to seek, ask for equal opportunity rather than equality of outcome. Endeavor to be deserving of what the things you want. You won't get things that you want, you'll get things that you are. Um, 
so there was a call to action that I, that I wanted to do. So if you want to become free in your relationships, endeavor to become deserving rather than feeling entitled. If you want to have more freedom in your business, and by the way, in business, what's the di- let me ask you a question. What's the difference between a slave and an employee? The difference between a slave and an employee is that one presumes to know who their master is. So I'm a part of a group who are a mastermind. We're a mastermind of people that help people um, create freedom for themselves by building their own business. So if you want to join that group, just message me and I'll hook you up with that group. All right, so the call to action today is be deserving rather than entitled in business, relationships, and personal, social, and all the rest. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.